I'm Shanti, welcome back. And today we are doing the recording of 9th of August God Repressing. Godfather wants us to be a carefree person, a being, a soul, who is doing every action by being carefree. But at the same time, is connected to the supreme energy, the supreme light, the supreme force, supreme father, God. And is able to get elevated touchings and being guided by him to do things in the manner which he wants us to do so as to be successful in our life. So let's see what does exactly Godfather have to say over here. God says, may you carry out all tasks with your carefree stage on the basis of elevated touchings and become an embodiment of success. Now, while carrying out any task, if you always have the awareness, the senior Baba is sitting here, the supreme power, the supreme source of all energy, which people in science are calling the quantum field, the ultimate quantum field, the ultimate energy source, the ultimate spark, the point of origin. There's so many names which have been given to the Supreme Godfather. So God says the senior Baba is sitting here. We call him the creator, the father of creation. Your stage will constantly be carefree. But when we feel that we are alone and we are doing it all on our own, then we have to use matter to matter. We have to push things around. We have to force things around. So to have a carefree stage in, is the greatest sovereignty of all. Nowadays, all are the emperors of worry. Whereas you are carefree emperors. In this world, everybody is worried about something or the other. God says that when they are using body consciousness or they are using practical ways of fight, comparison, competition, criticism or discontentment, pushing hard, fighting in the world to get their place, God is, God is saying that's the time they are completely under the capture of no carefreeness but they are into stress and they are into tension, they are into worry. So God says those who worry cannot achieve success because they waste their time and energy in worrying. Then they spoil whatever they do. However, you remain carefree and this is why you have elevated touchings at the right time. That means we are just like that small child who is carefree. Just remember your childhood when you did not have any competition, no worry. You didn't think that I have to get school marks and become first or second or third. You were just natural. And that is where we are completely in connection with the self, completely in connection and in harmony with ourselves, mind and feelings and with the world. Now God wants us to reach that level. So God says, however, you remain carefree and this is why you have elevated touchings at the right time and achieve success in the service you do. So we get connected to the supreme creator when we are carefree, but when we are into worry, we are connected to the heavy things in the world, body consciousness. But when we connect to the supreme energy, the supreme spark, the supreme point of light, the supreme infinite source of energy beyond this world, beyond this physical world, that's the time when we are actually receiving success. We are getting touched by something beyond this physical. And we are understanding that, no, I need to do this. I need to be there this time. Something is calling me, something is pulling me, something is asking me to be there. And this is what we learn at Brahma Kumaris, a very high, a very profound education beyond the physical into the soul world, into the energy world. You too can learn about this secret when you come to Brahma Kumaris and get over past all your troubles, be it financial, be it mental, be it emotional, be it physical ailments. People have got cured with even the fourth stage cancer. People have who have not been hearing have started hearing. People who have not seen have started seeing. So, so much has been done in Brahma Kumari. There's so many stories to be heard about. And all this is happening with the power of meditation by connecting to that ultimate source, the energy. You call it God, you call it Allah, you call it energy, you call it anything. But it's a connection which we have lost and which we need to get back to. With this, Om Shanti.